All right, guys. Here you can see I've come up with an improvised block, um, two inches. I think that's about the size of the uh, default block. And now I have 200 and 100 in my pressure already set here. Um, so now I'm going to try to release the block and see what happens to the pressure. Let's see if I can. Keep compressing up to push the block, pull the block out. There's the block out. Okay, and it did rise, and I've lost about 25% of my pressure, I'd say, in the upper chamber. It looks like I still have 160 after starting at 200. The lower chamber doesn't look like it changed very much. Um, now with this setting, let's try putting the band up there and see about sag. So just putting my weight on the wheel, there's my sag. And there's a one-legged one top. And the band's already halfway down. So what I'd say I'd like most is I'll pump this on up to 200. There it is. And now if I turn the pump this way, I can make faster turns thanks to the elbows. And hey, there's your proof. Okay, you're not losing half your pressure, you're losing about a quarter of it. But if you weigh over 150 pounds and you think having 100 pounds in there is enough, you're wrong. Now notice this one, now that the upper has been more inflated, the lower is up to 175. Remember, I only started with 100 in that chamber. So letting the block out and bunny hopping a little, I end up with uh, more pressure in the bottom, 175. So added 75% to my lower chamber. And let's see, I'll take it down to 150. And then this one is the one that has much less pressure in it by default. So if I reattach it after I attached it at 150, what do you think I end up with? Hmm, 100, see that? So I'm gonna take it back up to 150 and figure I'll have at least 100 in there once I get it off. And see, with turning the whole thing at once, I can do faster turns so I lose less of that pressure in the process. Okay. Now, um, let's return the band and see about doing a little bunny hop here. And there's a good bunny hop. And let's see, with that, I still got my band three quarters of the way down. That was a pretty t harsh bunny hop, but still, you can see down here where the ring is at the very bottoms where I've bottomed it out or come closer with some bigger jumps. Hope that helps.